My stage 3 kidney disease is actually in remission. My name is Sanna. Uh, I live in Rovaniemi, Finland. Uh, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2007 when I was 16 years old. So I've been living with diabetes for 11 years now. So it's been kind of hard here the last few years. Lab work has been very, very bad. Uh, I've had, for example, uh, albumin creatinine uh, 290 in this year's February. That's when I ended up with you, you guys, <laughs> mastering diabetes and I started to follow um, uh, about half raw and half cooked version of it. And in 10 weeks, only in 10 weeks, uh, my kidney disease biomarkers were dropped. For example, the albumin uh, creatinine um, value was uh, 118, which is two and a half folds lower than the one that was in February this year. Over the summer and the fall, I had this intuitive feeling that I need to do more. I just have to do more. So I transitioned to fully raw vegan food and then it happened. <laughs> the, the biomarker I was talking er, earlier, uh, albumin creatinine value was dropped to 37. 37, which is amazingly low. Actually, it's so low that I don't have to see my kidney doctor anymore. I'm in remission. Which is which is awesome because I ha I've had this disease almost six years and there's nothing nothing that could have helped me and then <laughs> then mastering diabetes came along and now I'm here I'm I'm almost cured completely and I believe it will go that way when you have stage three kidney disease. Uh, eventually, it goes to dialysis and uh, transplantation, and those are those are awful, awful things. And some some of people who have uh, stage three kidney disease even die from it. Uh, so that has been a huge fear in my life, as I am a mother of two little lovely girls. Your results are so good that these cannot be uh, caused by any medi medication so what what on earth are you doing here <laughs> so i i told her about my uh, plant based lifestyle and the raw fully raw lifestyle and uh, she agreed that they are the key factor in healing me and my kidneys and <clears throat> the results um, uh, the protein in my urine uh, it was 4.7 grams in February this year and 1.7 grams in April this year and now in September uh, it's 0 0.5 grams <laughs> which is amazing. I, I've had that low number um, last time in 2012 when before I got pregnant with my first child. So <laughs> feels amazing and I feel it. I actually feel it in my in my body, in my spirit, in my everyday life that I can do things I, I haven't been able to do in, in a long time. The albumin creatinine uh, was 290 in February this year and now it's 37. 37. <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> Uh, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I, I've been so so happy. I see uh, that I actually have a future with my family. I was afraid one year ago. I was afraid that I I wouldn't get to see my children grow and to live my happy amazing life with my husband, and and to not have a life. That was my biggest fear. Yes, but now, now I, I see the future is there coming. And um, I saw this comment where someone said that uh, she had been living with um, 
plant-based lifestyle for 17 years and I thought, oh my jeez, <laughs> I will be that, <laughs> I will get there. I will be the person who says uh, I've been living living plant-based lifestyle for 17 years. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so happy. I cannot believe any other lifestyle I would ever want to live. My stage three kidney disease is actually in remission and I don't have to see the uh, kidney doctor anymore. So from now on, I, I actually have to see my diabetes doctor for once or twice a year, which is awesome. Because I had the low carb uh, diet um, back, as background, uh, I was I was a little confused. I was I f felt that I was betrayed um, with the low low carb things because they say uh, it's a healthy diet, and I actually thought I I am eating the food I should be eating, and so it it was kind of a little shock shock to learn that everything I had done in the past was completely wrong. Actually, I I. I did low I did low low carb diet for six years, which which sound, sounds very bad, as you know how bad this kidney disease went. But then, then when I I, I was I was kind of uh, plant based because I had some olive oil in my diet uh, during last fall. But when I when I started your actual program in February uh, then then I learned that I ha I just have to ditch <laughs> the oils completely and then started to happen things that I, I have been dreaming I love mango I'm like mango man <laughs> Cyrus <laughs> and I love pine pineapples and um, and I, I love salads and I have even learned to love um, apple cider vinegar <laughs> <laughs> and all of it and now that i'm actually raw um uh, i i think there's so much more change happened with me and me dealing with my diseases and and in my in my mind everything i i i think um some kind of curtain has been ripped off of my my mind and my eyes in front of my eyes and and i feel mentally so alert and happy and and excited and um, I, I I have even managed to get my mother to do this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So, to anyone who who is living with stage three or any other stage kidney disease, I would say <clears throat> do my mastering diabetes, and I recommend highly this raw version of it uh, the fully raw is the key that has cured me to this point and um, I would say just stick to it uh, um, I, 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 if I remember correct correctly um, uh, it, it, it took about two weeks uh, at the beginning to get used to everything and not to crave uh, bad food anymore and after I had finished the two weeks um, it was all clear I didn't even want to touch anything that's bad for me and this actually happened twice when I started the raw fully raw diet uh, of food uh, and it was a little bit smaller than the first time but uh, now it's even strong or stronger the, the feeling the gut that I don't want to consume anything that's bad for me or my kidneys or my blood sugars or anything in me. And and yes, yes, this food is, it's magical, really. Okay.